Hi, my name is Patrick James and I'm an Applications Engineer at Hawkridge Systems. Today I'll be showing you how to install SOLIDWORKS in about three minutes. First, navigate to your Installation Manager, or if you have downloaded the source files already, navigate there. Mine are in the default location, My Documents, SOLIDWORKS Downloads. Scroll down to setup.exe, right-click, Run as Administrator. If you get this message, SOLIDWORKS is asking to reboot, but if you have rebooted since your last install, you can ignore it and click OK. Next, we will choose Install on this computer and Next. Next is the Serial Numbers page. If you have set up a MySolidWorks login, log in here to grab your serial numbers. If not, paste in any serial numbers you have for various products. You may have only one serial tied to one or more products. If this is the case, put it into the SOLIDWORKS box only. A pro tip, you can paste the entire number into the first box and it will fully populate. Once we have our serials, next again. The installation manager will try to connect with the SOLIDWORKS server, checking for the latest version and any versions already installed. Here I will choose New Installation since I want to keep my instance of 2020. Now the summary page and I'll go through top to bottom starting with products. Click Change at the top and we will get the product selection screen. Here, uncheck any products you don't want installed. I'm deselecting Electrical and Composer Player. Check on any products you want. Your ability to use some of these will be tied with your serial number entitlement. For whatever reason, if you don't see a product you're expecting, click on Select Different Packages or Products. At the top, you can check the box for Also Show Products Not a Part of This Package. Once you're satisfied with your product selection, click Back to Summary. The next setting is our download options. If you already have the full file set downloaded like I do, click the Install Only option and back to summary. If you haven't downloaded yet, choose one of the download options at the top. If you'd like automatic downloads as new service packs come out, choose the Background Downloader option at the bottom. Next, I'll look at the installation location. If this is your first install, feel free to leave this default, installing to the C drive. If you have multiple SOLIDWORKS installations, I like adding the year I'm installing so it's easy to see which files are which. Our final setting is the whole wizard and toolbox. Same suggestion as before. If this is your only installation, feel free to leave this default installing to the C drive. If you have multiple installations, I recommend adding the year of SOLIDWORKS for easy identification later. That should be all the settings on our summary screen. Accept the license agreement and click install now. This next section is sped up and we'll progress along showing the different products I chose to install. The real time this will take will vary depending on which products you are installing, your computer speeds, and whether or not you have to download anything for the install. This clip is at about 20 times speed. For reference, I'm running an older laptop and the install portion took just under 15 minutes of real time. You can expect times not counting downloads of 10 to 20 minutes for most machines. This is a great time to get a cup of coffee, go to lunch, work on something else, and check back in about 20 minutes. Looks like mine's all done. On the completion screen, you can see what's new, choose to join the customer improvement program or not, click finish, and you're all done. Let us know in the comments which videos you'd like to see next. Like and subscribe for more Hawkridge video content.